Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Dying Light. The last time we played, we uh, finished all of the quarantine zones in Old Town, and we also contacted Jade. Of course, she doesn't want to talk to us. <laughs> uh... And we, uh, we started doing a little bit of side questing. So we're going to continue with that today. Last time we talked to this idiot, too. All the clues from the prophecy. All right. We uh, also finished off our bounty, luckily. Damn. See ya. really remember what he said rising sun leading me to the fountain of blood I mean I guess this is a rising sun I mean, I guess. It's not in the quarantine zone. Fountain of crying blood. Guess that's what that is. People speaking tongues. The hotel would have been full of foreigners. Maybe that's it. Okay, I guess we're going into the hotel by the restaurant. Sure. Yeah, follow the red trail to be enlightened. The deceitful number nine, room nine maybe? As long as like a... Well, he's either clairvoyant or I'm being set up. I guess the deceitful nine must be a room number then. Right? That's really all I could think of it being. Throwing some lock picks. Staff room key. Maybe I have the key card. There we go. So now we can, I don't know why I picked that up. Pick up all these key cards. Wicked baseball bat, apparently. There's a locker room over here. I can get into. Heavy splitting axe. Does like no damage.
Don't get up. We're not really gonna search this place all up and down. One oh five. Seven is the last room. Seems like there's stuff in there, you just can't get it. These people are all dead. I guess they give you like lock picks just in case, I guess maybe. Bunch of dead people in here. This is 103. And that one's blocked. Oops. Assuming you could just maybe not. Ow. Ooh. Yeah, this thing's basically Basically useless. Another dude hung himself with a chain this time. So it looks like some runners in here. are kind of cool. Alright, well that's the whole first floor. Can't even go this way. Can't even go, can't go either of the ways. Do I need to get up via like an like the elevator or something is that maybe the way to do it or? if we head down <laughs> wrecked both of them pretty fast that's blocked off too Another Kopesh, that piece of shit. Where's that elevator? I can't get in through there. This is all the trail of red. There's just something I'm not seeing. It's like thinking that maybe we can go up the roof in one of these places. See, there's red here. But.
Oh. Shouldn't have done that, bitch. Woo! So we can go up to the elevator. Aha! 205. Boom! Look at that wide swing. Deceitful nine, of course. To a six, it turns into a nine, sees it's fallen down. Deceitful nine. What we do though, we're gonna go in here. Give this place the once over. I said I'm not checking this place thoroughly, just kinda, you know. Confidentiale stuff in here. There's a one of these too. So this is what the lock picks were for. Whoa, bud. This was Rice's room. He must have set up shop here when the epidemic first began. Shit. And there you go. There's that. Um, alright, so let's do... Let's do Rupert the Gunsmith. Get out of this, uh... Let's get out of this place. I don't want to go down on the ground floor. Let's get out of here. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Going inside places like that, it's always kind of like spooky and kind of... It's like that creepy vibe. Just because it's got the music, the music really s sells the undertone of it. Boom! I don't know why I don't just I why I don't just go through the door. Woo! You missed. That was a pretty good save there. Bitch. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're not actually doing this, but we're here. We're at Rupert the gunsmith's place.
There's a bed in this place. Looks like a preschool. Oh, yeah, never mind. I remember this, this dude now. I was like, I was trying to like, I was struggling to figure out like what, who this dude was. I'm like, I don't remember doing this. And now, now I remember. I remember when I did my original playthrough, I remember this. Uh, this guy has like a couple quests. I, don't, I won't believe it's just one. See, he's got this wizard hat on. <laughs> Look at all these kids. I'm Crane. I was looking for Rupert. No, you weren't. You were looking for a gunsmith who happens to be named Rupert. Eh, fair enough. Would like to talk about some weapon modifications. You work for Rise? No. Hmm. Well, I suppose that helps. But I'm waiting for my wife Jasmine to come back. Until she's here, I can't leave. Has she been gone long? No, not long. So it'll probably be a while before she returns. And what about these kids? Are their parents... Dead, I hope. Every day, I'm terrified that one of them is going to look out the window and see their mother or father shambling down the street. I don't know what I'm going to do when that happens. What have you told them? Half-truths. That a dark magic has taken over the city, but that I am a good wizard who can protect them. It's the sort of game that doesn't end. Jasmine is better at this sort of thing. Hell, I'm a gunsmith. What am I doing playing this magical nonsense? Seems to me you're doing pretty well. Well, I'm not. There's a girl named Isla. She's a diabetic. Only her insulin ran out a while ago. Now her blood sugar is sky high. She's dehydrated and exhausted. Jasmine says if she doesn't get some insulin soon, she'll slip into a coma and die. And here I am in this stupid wizard hat, and the kids are waiting for me to cure her with a magic potion. Maybe it's time to tell them the truth. There is no good magic, only the dark kind. Take it easy, Rupert. There's a drugstore in town. Maybe I can find some insulin there. Are you serious? Mister... If you could do that, I can't tell you how grateful I'd be. I've got a radio here. If my wife Jasmine comes back, I'll probably go home for a while. But I'll let you know before I leave. All right. Go ahead and track that. Leave the kindergarten. So it is. Yeah, see, like, he's taking care of the kids. And no, he's not a pedo. That's what you think. He's not. He doesn't. He's not that kind of guy. He doesn't turn out to be that kind of guy. He's he's actually just a guy with a wife who's taking care of a bunch of kids. Alright. Time to go insulin hunting. one's closer. Oh, the one I'm actually headed to. Oh, 
Insulin here. Hooray, <laughs> packages. Personalized recommendations go away. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I can. Well, we're gonna need to get our uh, we're gonna need to get our gun back out. There we go. Just close the store for now. Pause. I don't see any insulin. Troy, can you hear me? It's Crane. There's a bunch of kids in the Magic Fortress. Did you know about this? It's news to me. We thought that place was empty. Do they need assistance? From what I've seen, yes. It's going to take time to get anyone over there. Understood. I'll stay until someone arrives. Hey, look, in the meantime, I need insulin. I'm at the drugstore now, but it's been picked clean. Maybe you could check and see if the computer works. There should be records of people who bought the insulin last, along with their addresses. Maybe they still have it? Thanks, Troy. Out. It's a good idea. Fuck off! You weren't even here! Pick that up. Rupert, this is Crane. Look, no luck here. Damn it. Isla's lying down. She doesn't look right. I think we're almost out of time. 
Oh, but there is a receipt here for insulin sold to someone named Ekram Bozkurt. That ring a bell? That's Isla's father. Maybe he left the insulin at their home. His address is on the receipt. All right, I'll head over and have a look. Mm-hmm. Insulin, insulin, where could you be? No. Well, there goes I, uh, there goes I, his parents. I'll just whom. Insulin, insulin, insulin. Probably keep the insulin in the fridge. Rika, I'm driving to the pharmacy to get Alia's medication, then to Farhad Pizzeria, and then I'll pick up Alia from daycare. We should be home with dinner by six. We love you, my darling, Ekram. So you have pizza. Pharmacy, but he never picked up his daughter. Rupert, where's Farhad Pizzeria? What? Just get me the address. It's near the Magic Fortress on Mercantile Street. Okay. <laughs> Pizzeria! When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. That's some more. <laughs> we are sold out. Sorry, sold out. Insulin, I got it. For you, fuck out of here, douchebag. Batter up. have got the insulin so oh his father was dead I guess maybe his wife was the only person at the place maybe I don't know I can't believe you've done it will she be alright 
Yes, yes, it's exactly what she needs. I'll take care of Isla, but could you keep the other children busy while I'm with her? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm really, I'm pretty busy. Just talk to them. That's all you need to do. I've already told them you're a great warrior, like a knight. You did? When's your wife coming back? You'll be fine. I just need a few minutes. Children! This heroic warrior has returned with a healing elixir for Isla. Now he's going to stay here and be your protector while I administer the elixir to Isla. Well now, hang on, wait. I won't be long. Hey there, bud. What's your name? Kadeem. Kadeem. Look pissed like off, Kadeem. I have a secret. Really? Yeah, well, so do I. What's your secret? I'm a GRE agent. What do you got? Can you get my blocks for me? That's that's not really a secret. But some of them are downstairs, near the basement. And Mr. Rupert said we're not ever to go near the basement. Not ever. But I went down there just to see. And I heard a scary sound, and I kind of dropped my blocks. They're kind of all over. Could you get them back for me? Huh, that's a tall order, but I'll give it a shot. Blocks for the boy! Where's your first block? I'm being there. Right. Here you go, Kadeem. All blocks accounted for. Thanks. Hey, are you going to tell Rupert about this? So, will you keep my secret? That you work for the... Who is that again? Your secret's safe, Kadeem. But I'm going to talk to Rupert about those noises in the basement. I heard them too. Isla's okay. She's sleeping now. She'll need some time to fully recover. Thank you again, Mr. Crane. Yep. My wife Jasmine should be back any time now. And since I know how tiring these kids can be, I'm sure you'll be wanting to move on. No, not just yet. But, well, our supplies are very limited. Look, this is too much responsibility for one person, Rupert. I've sent for help. They'll be here soon. That's not necessary. Jasmine and I can handle things just fine. Rupert, I was downstairs. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm sorry, Rupert. Sometimes in those noises, I think I can still hear a tiny trace of her voice. I mean, in all honesty, though. I was hoping it would be over by now. How do you even know it would have been her? I do it. My wife. My beautiful, beautiful Jasmine. I'll kill her. This has to end. I would let her kill me before I would lift a finger to harm her. Just give me the basement key. I'll do it. I'll do it in a second. Don't believe me. <laughs> Don't believe me? I'll do it. Watch. The light on so I can see. It was just an angel statue. Go, power off.
See? <laughs> See, I told you I'd do it in a second. I would rather let her kill me than lift a finger to harm her. Fine, Rupert, I'll do it. I'm a real piece of shit, though. <laughs> Whatever, I'll kill her. What? Sell that. Give her a bed and shit like she was gonna sleep. Alright. Did you find her? Were you able to help her? She has peace now. Thank you. From both of us. I hope somewhere I may find forgiveness for what I did. For what I couldn't do. You're welcome. Peach. What do you want? Are you really leaving? Yeah. No, I'm afraid I have to, sweetie. But some friends are coming to help you guys out. They'll be here really soon. What if the troll gets them? Uh, what troll? There's a giant troll oh, down there no. parking lot. He makes lots of very scary noises, so yeah. it's hard to sleep. Oh, well, the that's no demolisher. good. Maybe I'd better chase him away. And yeah, we can't have trolls in the parking lot, can we? No, sir. <sighs> See? Angel Sword, you get Angel Sword from doing this quest. From killing the fucking demolisher troll in the parking lot. Oh no. Never mind. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a demolisher. It's just one of these assholes. I thought it was a demolisher. Oh. Let's show you how long I played I haven't played this game. Woo! Clear out here. Crane, that wasn't the troll. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Wait, what? <laughs> ah, there he is. <laughs> oh, of course it is. I see. I, I, I knew I remembered a demolisher. grenades <laughs> I don't I gotta, I gotta, 
Got his hat off though. This actually should not be as long as that as the other demolisher fight because we actually have like our good weapons. I'm like, I'm actually hitting him in the fucking head. You can clearly see me doing it. I smacked him right upside the head. It's like hard to dodge that while you're up close. There we go. Mighty pickaxe. Yeah, it's probably fucking garbage too, isn't it? Scratch yeah, one troll. Crane, this is Rupert. You're all right? Yeah, but kids are a lot more work than I realized. I'll meet you there. Hello. Oh shit. Um, all right, so let's sell a few things. The bat, the pistol, the pickaxe, all these gray weapons. And the safety blade that's officially broke. So then sell that as well. Well, so what do you have that I can buy? Anything? I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's a pretty cool looking axe. Rifle ammo. A bitch fucking sick and tired of people having guns big fuck for that Sure. 
No problem. Requisition packs. Hooray! Is that for saving? Yeah, I see, it's just, I don't ever really do those. So, I, I never got the achievement. Still, you know, a few achievements that I don't have here and there. Get the, uh... Oh yeah, I have Ryze's gun again. stuff in here. med packs all right give me just a couple of minutes guys uh go ahead and fast forward about uh two minutes or so i'll be right back
Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, my stomach is not... My stomach is really not doing too well. Um, I had a... I had a salad for lunch. Um, and... You know, I've been trying to eat s more salads. Oh. But it's hard to eat them because they fuck with my stomach a lot. Glad you made it. You did me a heck of a favor back at the Magic Fortress. Happy to help. And I'm happy to pay you back, so have a look around. If you see anything you want, it's yours. On the house. This will do very nicely. Thanks. Thank you. And good luck, Crane. Alright, there's our Angel Sword blueprint, even though we had it. Desert police rifle. These are uh, these are all ep this uh, that's an epic weapon. Military rifle. And a camo police rifle. So which one is better? One eighty four. 184, 184. So yeah, I mean they're not really they're not really different, but all right. So yeah, you know salads just they really fuck with my stomach. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, it's uh, so, you know, why I have this this problem. And it really makes my stomach not feel too good. It's funny, like... You know, I, I always kind of thought, well, maybe it's just the fact that, uh... I don't eat that healthy all that often. But I, di I disagree. I, I eat salads pretty regularly. I mean, typically when I buy groceries, I'll always typically buy, like, one or two... One or two, you know, uh, salad kits. You know, and I'll, get, I'll eat a Caesar salad or a Cobb salad or something. You know, because I like salads. You know, a lot of people don't like salads. They're just like, I don't want to eat a bunch of... I don't want to eat a bunch of lettuce. You know, type of deal. But I... You know... <coughs> that was not the thing. <laughs> Down here? I mean, there is. Come on! Hurry! 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 This is kind of bullshit that can hurt you. Right, you motherfuckers. Son of a bitch. Comment below what your favorite salad is, actually. I want to know. Hashtag, what's the best salad? Hashtag, best salads. Tweet at me. Tweet at me with your favorite salad. Human a uh, after everything. Uh, tweet, at, tweet, at my, tweet at my Twitter, human after everything. And, uh, and let me know what your favorite salad is. Leave a comment below. Tell me what your favorite salad is. Tell me what your favorite food is too. I'll take I'll take it all, man. My favorite food is is more than likely pizza. 
But I typically will tell people a lot that I don't have a favorite food because it's kind of true. I, I like to eat a lot of different stuff. I like, ha I like you know, burgers and I like, like hot dogs. Um, you know, I like fried chicken. I like pizza. I like all kinds of stuff. I like Indian food. I like Mexican food. Excuse me, all of you don't belong here. Oh my god! It's a battle arena! Get me out of here! Woohoo! I don't care. I really do not care at this point in time. But yeah, it's hard for me to really kind of pick a, a favorite food, to be honest. Um, When you have all different types of foods like I do, kind of just they kind of all just kind of combine together. You get cravings for certain things, but I haven't had a fa I don't think I've ever had a favorite food to be honest. So 1800 is is on its last legs. Unfortunately. Only got like a single repair left with it. Got a nice box here. Still hear the music. Skull machete, not not too great. Eleven 1 hundred. Oh, bitch. Uh oh. What if all the infected just ran down here into the electric water? Do we need to shut that power off? That's why we're over here. What? Here we go. Let's go ahead and craft some... Uh, Some med kits real quick. Never can have too many med kits. As you saw, we had 99 at one point. And we're down to like 75. Use them all the fucking time. I don't ever use like any of the other healing stuff, the healing recipes or anything. Right, there we go. There we go. Nah. 
Now we just need to turn on the water near Town Hall. And we'll, uh, we'll complete this. Well, we'll probably have to go back to the dude, but... Fuck out of here. Yeah, this is the underwater. This is the. Oh god. This is the underwater swimming one where you're supposed to swim to it. Lock picked underwater. I wonder what that's like. That's that's pressure right there. Oh, there we go. That would have been farther than that. Switched all three valves. Brilliant. Now you just have to do the same in the main pump station. Ah, now we have to go to the main. And come and swing back at me, bud. <laughs> oh, dear. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> door came open and all of a sudden there's just shit in my oh my god how actually fucking dare you Ooh, it's one of those sledgehammers see y'all later oh you're not dead now you're dead. Alright. Oop. Over the fence. Killing you out of the, out of purpose. There we go. Evil alien zombies from Mars, closer than you think. Evil massacre. That's I, I'd watch that. Maybe if it was good. <laughs> Maybe if it was like good quality and not some B movie bullshit. Excuse me. No visitors, please. Okay, what now? Look for the main valve. Yeah, that's uh it's pretty specific. Any specific direction you want me to go? Oh, this is the one where you have to swim through like multiple times, right? have guns too. Yeah, this is like a three shot type gun.
It's over there. You see that? Oh, I'm out of fucking ammo for that. God damn it. All right, well, let's get that desert police rifle out. Boop, boop. All right, turning on the main. Done. Mort, any progress? Yes, yes. We've got water again, not just in our building, but in my whole district, too. You did my job, and you did it well. Even the fountain works again. Amazing, great. Good. That's yeah, better to drink water than energy drinks. Yeah, it is. Inventory is full. Uh, sell the uh, the guns. We get back to like home base. Finally, there we go. Try water from the fountain. I mean, I want to try water from the fountain, but there's a thousand zombies around here. Mmm, delicious. Some of the bodies are starting to disappear, and there's these packages laying around. Might as well grab them. Oh, this. So it's about night time. So what we need to do is um well Mort has a reward for us. 
So let's just go to him and then we'll sleep to the morning. Probably the best idea. Hello. I've come to, I've come to Ooh, that pickaxe looks dope AF. I'll buy that. Oh, that's right. Ha! <laughs> I will sell you my camo police rifle. Uh, I already have uh, Rise's gun, so you can take that. Sell that. That, that, and that. I'm going to sell that. Both of these as well. And no, we'll keep those. No, we won't. They don't do shit worth the damage. So you all are valuables. Uh, yeah. All right, I'll take that pickaxe. Okay, here we go. So, yeah. Oh my god. That was almost a nightmare. Water 2.0. Ouch. Alright, we'll take all this other stuff back to Spike. And he also has some stuff for us. You can, if you really want to, take these and then sell them. Let's actually go ahead and do that. That means it is about to be night time. Those bows are actually worth quite a bit. This looks pretty comfortable. All right, so it's nighttime. We'll wait till morning. There we go. In our inventory, we have. I'm gonna actually put Fenris away. I'm gonna put that away. This is actually gold. See, gold weapon. That's what I thought. I knew it. That's it's. This is one of the gold weapons. Oh, I fucking knew it all along. Um. All right. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and put away these throwing axes here. I'm gonna keep this because it's gonna end up getting broken. I kinda wanna make something with this fabulous pickaxe real quick. Let's up the damage on this. Let's do the knight as well. And uh, you know what, let's do mercenary. Do both mercenaries. It'll have super good durability, which is which will be nice because it'll it won't break as fast. And then we'll we'll make something sick out of it. Ooh, what is Exorcist? Damn, you can make a lot. Electricity burning impact and burning fire launcher. That sounds pretty nice. Bleeding electricity. Let's do fire launcher. So let's check that out. Okay, so now we've done that. Um, let's see. So we have... Uh, we've done all the side quests that we're really going to do. So we'll just head back. We'll head back uh, to home base. That's really all we can do for now. This is the place... The university is the place I end up coming all the time. I always end up coming here. So the pickaxe is a two-handed weapon. 
is heavy, but it delivers a right fucking wallop. <laughs> oh! Yep, that's gonna be good. But before we use end up using that one, we're gonna use the the buzz killer. Which I'm actually gonna repair because it's not gonna do as much damage if we don't repair it. This only has two repairs anyway, so. It's a pretty cool weapon though. It's bladed, it's heavy. So, by going down, we're not here. Where the hell is it? <laughs> oh yeah, here. So you go down here And in here, you have this guy you can trade with. Um, don't really have anything. All right, great. It's got power cable, some aerosol batteries, blade, chemicals. But yeah, this guy you can sell stuff to. Are you Crane? Because you look like him. Yeah, I'm Crane. Hey, what are you doing here? Are you all alone? My dad passed away a couple of days ago. But he taught me how to survive. Listen, mister. Dad left a stash for Crane. If you really are him, and you can prove it, I'll give it to you. Okay, well, how can I prove I am who I say I am? Go outside and show me how quick you are. Oh, My yeah. dad said the real Crane was faster than anybody. So try to be real quick, mister. Yeah. So it's this challenge. These challenges are like running challenges, stuff like that you can do. Um, I t I did a s I did some of them when I played through the first time, but I never really did many of them. If you pass the fun zone, please check what's happening there. Uh, what do you mean? You'll hear it for yourself. Someone's calling for help. There are women and children there. No, they're not. Okay, let's see what's going on. No matter how many times I watch it, I still can't believe it. An internal global relief effort document surfaced today that, if verified, implicates the GRE in a far-reaching criminal conspiracy. Instead of trying to find a cure for the Haran virus, according to the file, the GRE had plans to weaponize it and sell it to the highest bidder. Yep. Worldwide backlash has... No, no, skip to the important bit. I was the last survivor left in the quarantine. I can't believe I made it out. I can't believe I'm still alive. We mourn all those who didn't survive. But as the president said in the speech here earlier today, life is for the living. Military troops have searched for survivors all over the quarantine, but now there's no one left besides the infected. According to Colonel Tanner, once his decontamination process is finished, the infection will be completely obliterated. Oh, the Ministry did this. They're making their excuses to the rest of the world for destroying a city. Look, Crane, before you go charging out of here, we already had an idea of how to send a message. We were going to plant explosives in a building and set off fires in a pattern, something the zombies could never do. Trouble is, we got a runner, Michael, over to the right building, but he can't get through to the top floors. Too many biters. As much as I hate to admit it, none of the rest of us are strong enough to do this job. Well, we've got to do something right fucking now, or you, me, Jade, and everybody else are going to get blown to bits. 
I tell Michael I'm on my way. And while I'm doing that, can you get in touch with Jade? Try to get her to meet me. You have my word. Frank, All right. one more thing. Ryan yep. brought some of his shock squads to Old Town. They've only been here for a few weeks, but they're doing a lot of damage. They're launching raids and terrorizing survivors at every opportunity. It seems Rise officially ordered them to be as brutal as possible. Yeah, he likes people to know he's in town. They're well fortified. In addition to their headquarters, they're using two staging grounds to gather supplies. I'm told they've amassed quite a haul. I could use some supplies. Ah, oh, you'd be doing us all a very big favor. Where are the outposts? One's in an office building, and the other is in the radio station. Uh, maybe I'll pay him a visit. All right. So, yeah, office outposts. These are... Um, so, with this quest... Um, radio station and office outposts. These are both hard. Uh, mostly because Rise's thugs have guns in them. So we're going to need guns for those. And, of course, fan zone. So, uh, up with public face. So next time on Dying Light, we're going to do Fan Zone, and then we're going to do Radio Station Office Outpost, and we'll continue with Public Face. So yeah, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all in the next part. Uh, goodbye.